And it looks like a corner forced there. It is McKinnon conceding a corner. And Celtics turn now. And the thing here is that Billy McNeil, the giant size center half of Celtic, normally comes up to get his head near it. And he's done it. He's done just that. Done just that. And scored a goal in two minutes and 20 seconds. Two minutes and 20 seconds of the game. McNeil comes up there for one of his traditionally famous headers and clumps it right into the corner to leave a stunned Martin in the Rangers' net. Domination in midfield is what's going to be what counts probably before the game is over. Mathens has got to Persson. Persson, that's one goal. And stop. Fallon right on the ball there. Fallon right on it. Persson nearly tipped that one in there. And a little incident around the goal, Moss, but Fallon was on it. Could very easily have let that one past him. And the referee calling for attention now, and Neely Malkin running out to give Fallon a little attention. And that goal mouth scramble there. Very dangerous moment. To Johansson. Johansson being closely marked there by all. Roll breaks to Smith. Smith and a wild one from him. I think it's gathered by Person who just managed to hold it in there to Matheson, but a bad pass back and it puts Lennox in the clear. Straight in, he can go. He's very fast as Lennox. Scoring chance, and it's there! And it's there from the same angle that McNeil scored his header. Lennox. Bad pass back there from Brisson, and affected sort of missed kick too from there. And the same corner of the net after 40, roughly 44 minutes of play of the first half. Only a minute or so left of the first half. Celtic take a 2-0 lead over Rangers in this, the Scottish Cup final here at Hampden Park. Henderson of Rangers. Broken up by Murdoch in midfield there for Celtic. And now Celtic rolling along like steamrollers. They've got the scent of victory. All going to come down the wing there, challenged by Smith and going right in. And still traveling. I think Smith's got him. No, all the still clear pass back, and here's another scoring chance coming up. Is Lennox blast one over the bar? In fact, it was Wallace that belted it there. Wallace on that one. Greg. And here's a terrible mistake there by John Greg. Let's Conley, and he just dribbles it in. Greg Wynn must have been out of his and lets in Conley. Dribbling on Martin to make it 3-0 for Celtic. Just on the halfway mark, just a second before the 45-minute whistle for halftime. Three nothing then for Celtic. And Vance the upfield to see where he should put it. And he's put it in the worst possible place. He's given it away there, right up front, and a drive that Martin managed to stop from the foot of Lennox as he Lennox raced in for the kill there. Nearly making it 4 nothing for Celtic. Now Chalmers, Celtic, and Wallace to Ald. Ald to Gamble, who's come right up here. One of his attacking roles for the moment. And a very dangerous one from him. And it looks like another one off the post. Off the post. A real misunderstanding there in the part of the Rangers' defense. And the way things have been happening around that Rangers' net now, today's score could have been a barrel load. A raid from Rangers now. Henderson to Persson. Persson going in, a crossover. Who's there? And in fact, it's McNeil. Really made a corner of it, but no. And Celtic dropping back now to defense in depth just at the moment. And out sends a long flyer up the wing for Chalmers breaking. And with him is Lennox. And behind him for a drop pass is Ald. And Chalmers does it himself. And bingo! It's there. 